Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our master class on goal setting. I will wait around to let everyone uh, give everyone a chance to join us. Oh, hello, Adele. How are you? If you're joining us live, please leave a note and let us know where are you watching us from. I can see people from all over the world. Um, I've sent a reminder to a few of them and I had a few responses that you really, really want to watch it. So uh, I will stick around for a second. Um, for those of you who never seen me before, I'm Viola. I'm a life fulfillment coach. I help people to find fulfillment, to live a meaningful life. And a very, very big part of it is to set the right goals and follow it through. Because if you don't set your plans right, then it's hard to stick with it. Uh, so what we will cover today is we will make sure you know how to go about setting the goal. Um, from many of you, I heard that you're struggling because your goals are big. Uh, so also we will break them down. You will have a chance to use the questions I will be asking you to break your own goal down and to create or some the action plan for you um, to know what to prioritize, what to focus on, what to do each day. Because it's nothing worse than just doing a million things in the same time, uh, having a million projects going on. And then when nothing is finished, nothing is completed, you feel even worse uh, than if you could just Take one step at a time, accomplish one thing, then go to another one. So we will talk about organizing, organizing your time and also uh, choosing what to prioritize. Um, I will also mention about overcoming your fears and doubts because this is a massive part of goal setting. Um, if we get into... Um, planning what we what we are going to do with a fear that we are not going to succeed or with loads of doubts that we are not good enough um, then this is affecting what actions we are planning to for ourselves and so we will definitely cover this as well um, hello I can see somebody's watching us but I can't see who it is so um, if you're with us leave a message let us know where are you watching from and the most important let us know what goals are you working on uh, if I know what exactly you're working on, it's easier for me to help you. I can ask you the right questions, help you to uh, specify your goal better, break it down, and to create that um, action plan to move forward. Uh, what else? On the end of this live stream, um, I'm going to give you a great gift especially uh, very good for people who live in Manchester. Uh, so stick around because uh, it's really worth. So let's start from the very, very beginning. Before you get into setting your goal, you need to know a few things about what the goal actually is. Um, so it's very important to have something very specific, to be able to, when you set your goal, you have to be able to describe how will you know that you achieved your goal. So for example, setting a goal, um, I want to be happy, um, is not specific enough because it will be hard for you to notice when this goal is achieved. 
So if it's hard for you to notice when this goal is achieved, you will end up working on it all the time and being frustrated and unhappy all the time because you will never get there if you don't know where you are heading. It's like going into the mountains, completely new area without a map. If you, if you, if you haven't got a map and you haven't got a plan um, or directions where you're going, if you don't even know where you want to get, then it's like you will be wandering around, spinning your wheels, working sometimes even harder, um, but you may never really achieve what you want. So the point number one is to specify what it is exactly that you want. To me, it's very important to start big. So when you are getting into setting your goal, don't worry about the goal being realistic and smart. Just really start big. Think it, imagine that everything is possible. Just completely forget about uh, time, money, skills. Set a massive, massive, big goal for yourself. Something that you want to achieve, that you would like to achieve if anything was possible. Then you can start tweaking it a little bit. But it's really important to start from something big, from your end goal. So to help you, ask yourself a question. How would you like your life to look like three years from now? Describe it without worrying that kind of today or tomorrow it isn't possible yet. Three years, it's a lot of time. During three years, you can finish uh, studies, you can completely change your career, you can create um really well prospering business that uh, you can um, grow your family within three years everything can change so go crazy on the beginning of setting your goal what I want you to remember is to connect your goal with your personal values because what, what I sometimes hear from people that they are, oh, they really can't be bothered to work on something or they are not motivated, they are not following through the plan. The reason is most of the time because they are not connected enough to that goal. So when you're setting your goal and you're thinking about your big vision, ask yourself a question, why does it matter to you? If you're unsure what your personal values are, uh, then just keep asking, what are the benefits for me of achieving this goal? Why do I want it? This way, you're setting yourself for success, really, because you will be working on something that really matters to you. And that's the key. There's nothing worse than to keep working on something like i was climbing a corporate ladder and getting higher and higher but it wasn't in alignment with my personal values so on the end when i reached my goal i realized and what it wasn't what i really really wanted so i've learned on my mistake why it's so important to connect your goal with your personal values. If you're watching us, uh, feel free to comment and write down what is your goal? What would you like to achieve within the next three years? And leave a message, where are you watching us from? Uh, yeah, so we covered the biggest part. When you're getting into setting your goal you need to remember about your end big vision so what would you like to achieve if anything was possible like imagine that i've got a magic wand and you can have anything you want what it would be 
just go crazy this way you are expanding that creativity so you're able to have better ideas you're able to um, set actually better goals goals that are not stopped by your fears or doubts but those which are really meaningful to you and the most the, the, the biggest part of goal setting is finding out why this goal matters to you. So before you've got anything written down, before it's specific enough, before you've got the date, you need to know why it matters to you. What are the benefits of reaching that goal? You really need to spend a lot of time on this. This way, you will be automatically motivated and nothing will stop you. Whatever happens, whatever problems on the way, you will keep going. Uh, so in the beginning, spend enough time finding out why do you want to achieve that. And then specify your goal more. Specify the date, when would you like to achieve it by, and it doesn't matter if it's three years from now, we will break it down, that's fine. It doesn't matter if it's uh, a year from now, we will break it down later on, just leave it as it is. It doesn't matter if you haven't got the right skills, if you haven't got the right time, money, uh, network, whatever it is, uh, we will get to that later. Just specify what would you like to achieve. Uh, write it down. There is something about writing goals that is um, scientifically proven that when you write something down, it's more likely that it will happen. Um, and some people even say that it's more powerful when you handwrite it instead of just typing it so take a piece of paper and write down what would you like to achieve and when by and then how to check if it's specific enough just ask yourself the question how will you know that it's achieved it's such a simple question but sometimes it's like oh yes um i'm i'm not quite sure i need to specify it more so now, uh, make sure you will be able to notice once it's achieved. Oh, thank you for all of these smiles. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, the next thing, once you, once you know that your goal is specific enough, once you know why you want to achieve that goal, you've got the day, the deadline, as um, someone once said, the goals without a deadline are only a dream. So make sure you've got something that you really are going to uh, achieve and uh, make true. Uh, so put that date then. Uh, for many of my clients, I hear that they are quite unsure like how they can uh, write the date next to the goal if they don't know yet how much work they need to put into achieving this goal. Or it feels a bit too strict with a day, they don't really like it. Uh, so what I would like to say to you is, you are going to update and review your goals and that date will change and that's completely fine. Uh, while you work on your goal, you discover other things, you may actually completely change your direction, uh, but it's, it's very important to know to have some kind of deadline in mind, so you're able to accommodate your tasks, plan and organize things, and not just lie on the couch and waste the time. So don't worry about the date write down the date, you will be able to change that later so it isn't a very strict thing. Um, so we've got we've got this few things. Uh, another thing is to break that goal down and that's where most of the people have problems because Yes, goals need to be smart and realistic, but sometimes 
what is causing that people forget about those goals that are really meaningful to them because somebody will say, oh, you can't achieve this. It's not realistic. Oh, you know, you haven't got the right skills yet. You can't achieve this. Set yourself a smaller goal. And then that kind of person feel a bit like, deflated and how can you be motivated to work on the small goal when it doesn't really have enough meaning to you that's why I want you to start from the big goal in your mind and just break that big goal down into the smaller pieces so you don't need to let go of something because it's too big or unrealistic you just need to break it down into the actionable steps, into the small actions that you're going to take. So how to do it? Think about your goal, like the, the whole piece you want to have done and completed by uh, some time in the future. Think about it like, like it's the box with some balls. And let's say each ball is uh, one milestone to get to your goal. Each milestone will require some action to take and each milestone is actually a smaller goal. So how to go about it? Um, to achieve your goal, you may need to improve your skills. So that may be one of your milestones. Um, Another part, it may be um, that you, you will need to practice on something. That may be another milestone. Um, another part of your goal, it may be to create something. That may be another milestone. So it all depends what you're working on. Um, thinking about my recent... Um, one of my recent clients, uh, let's say somebody would like to control their emotions. This is kind of difficult, difficult goal. Somebody wants to control their emotions and they want to achieve it within the next six months. So you can see um, it's not tangible enough. It feels like it's not tangible enough to break it down. So how to do it? I'm using this. Um, I'm using this example because not too many goals may be more difficult. So um, you can you can adjust those questions. I will ask you to to suit your to match your situation and your goal. So let's say somebody would like to be able to control their emotions. What milestones are there? What kind of balls in that uh, box? One, it will be to learn to 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 uh, create calmness, to learn to be calm. Kind of practice. That's the practice bit. Uh, so whatever is your goal, there is definitely some kind of practice. Um, doing more of something to, to feel more confident. Um, practicing improving your skills. So that would be one milestone. Another milestone would be relationship with people. So how that person reacts to other to others, how that person um, reacts to their emotions and how that person just stops and spends some time on reflecting and deciding what to do. So that would be the second milestone. Um, the third milestone would be to do something for themselves, to nurture themselves because they are so stressed. That's why they are unable to control their emotions. So uh, the third milestone is actually their well-being. Um, and we could even grab one more milestone, which is about their hobbies, uh, 
doing things that they love, doing things that they enjoy. And you can see from each of these milestones, you can get out one smaller goal. And it doesn't mean that we let go of the end goal. It's just, it helps us to, to have, um, to prioritize and to follow um, some rules, to follow the plan, to do not get it too messy and to be able to um, focus on one thing at a time. So what I would do, when you've got your own milestones that you know that you need to accomplish, that you need to work on to get into your goal, decide which one is the most important to you. Like, which one will take you the fastest to, to get a bit closer to your goal or which one is the most challenging and you want that the most challenging to get out, out of the way first or which one is the most beneficial, which one will benefit other areas of your life and other goals. So it's your choice. You know best which one is the most important to focus on first. But what's important to really focus on that one first and to prioritize it. And then once this is done or once this is on the right kind of um, level, then you can carry on and do other things. To do not overwhelm yourself and to do not work on a million things at the same time. Um, so let's say um, somebody is uh, going to choose one milestone, which is well-being. That person decided that to be able to improve on anything, um, he needs to work on his well-being first because that's that frustration, that anger, exhaustion. This is causing uh, negative emotions towards other. This is uh, this enables that person to uh, control their emotion and to have good relationships with other people. Um, so, in the end, it, it makes this person unhappy. Uh, so, well-being. So you can see we've got smaller goal out of the end big goal, which uh, for this person was to be able to control their emotions um, by the end of the six months um, working together. Um, so we've got well-being. So now we need to specify what about well-being, what needs to be done, when, by. And it might be that this is, again, big enough to be broken down into the smaller pieces, into the smaller milestones. Um, and that's fine. You just need to keep breaking it down until you've got actionable uh, steps, until you are able to create the action plan. If any of this is a bit confusing to you or you're unsure how to use it um, in relation to your own goal, write down in the comments what your goal is, what you're working on, and I will be able to use it as an example and help you to break your own goal down just so you know what to focus on, just so you're able to organize your time and do not waste the time with that overwhelm and working um, on a million things in the same time. So feel free to comment. I'm not sure if I can see, I think I can see the comments. So um, yeah. Um, so once we've got that milestone, um, when I would say you can stop breaking it down, it all depends on you. It's you who decide that this is small enough for you to uh, decide that this is one action. Um, but the best, when you ask yourself when you want to achieve this by, it's supposed to be within between a week and a month 
to say that this is kind of smaller goal, but still having that smaller goal, the part of your big goal, you can still break it down into your weekly goals and then into your daily goals or daily actions. And you don't even need to call them goals if you don't like this name. It can be uh, plans, dreams, intentions. So it's completely up to you. It's important that you just know what you're working on and you will be able to tick it off the list once it's done because if it's not clear enough for you, if it's not specific enough what you're working on, that's when you're going to lose your motivation and you will forget what was that that you were working on. Um, so just to give you an example, when we are um, around that well-being, uh, how specific that goal can be. Um, somebody wanted to have enough, to rest enough and relax. And, and somebody wanted to achieve it um, with, <coughs> within, sorry, within the next 30 days. And you can hear rest enough, relax enough. Does it, is it specific enough? How are you going to notice that you really uh, got there? It will be hard. So we were specifying it more. What that means for you to rest enough? It means that I work only, let's say, 10 hours a day, not 12. So that's quite specific already. What else? That means that every day I spend uh, half an hour doing something for myself. That means that twice a week I do something for my health, whether it's uh, cycling, running or whatever it is. That means um, that I spend enough time to read a book like once a week. So you can you can you can hear it's just more specific. So by the end of um, this month, let's say uh, somebody wanted to achieve it by the 30th of November, um, I want to work maximum 10 hours a day, spend minimum hour on relax, uh, read one um, read a book minimum once a week, and twice a week exercise. And that's specific. On the end of the month, that person is able to say, yeah, everything is uh, as I wanted. I'm doing it. Yes. And you can see then on the end of that month, you're able to um, pat yourself on the back. It, it increases also your self-esteem and confidence because you achieved something. Because it it's not as big. It's actionable, it's measurable, and it's specific enough. It's actually smart. Um, yes, and then again, so why did I do it? This was a part of that end goal. And when you've got that end goal on your mind, it's so much easier to take small steps because you know, okay, and now when I'm rested, relaxed, and I don't work too hard or too many hours, I'm able to control my emotions better. So you can see there is a progress and you can then grab another milestone and start working on another milestone. So there is a bit about organizing your time as well. When you create your plan, you need to know exactly how many hours each day you're going to put into working on that goal or how you're going to change the schedule to make it work. If it's something um, like about well-being, um, you need to know how many hours each week you are willing and you intend to uh, do something because this way you help yourself. Again, you know where you're going. So it's easier to get there. So you help yourself to achieve that because you know what you want to achieve. It's so simple, but most of the time we forget about the simplest things. And the last thing I wanted to mention, and and then I will I will let you know about something special I have for you. The last thing is about um, your fears and doubts 
because this is what stops most of the people from following through. Um, you may be scared of not being good enough to achieve something. That's the, the biggest one. And that's something that is hidden even in other fears that you may not be good enough. How to how to deal with it, how to do it anyway. With fears, the most important is to do not pretend that they are not there. Just be honest with yourself and give yourself that empathy that you would give to your friend. If something is scary for you, just give yourself the time to discover, okay, so what am I scared about? Am I scared about public speaking because I'm worried that people will judge me? And spend that time thinking, what are you scared about? Why are you scared about? So if they will judge you, then what? And that's when it's like, then what? Then I will be still alive. So when you spend some time even thinking, so what's the worst that can happen? Then it's not such a big surprise to you. Then you've got kind of a vision of, okay, that can happen, but I will still be alive, I hope. So it, it is still worth to try that the risk of people judging me or um or anything else that you worry about is still the the risk of this is not big enough to do not take action so with fears it's not about pretending that they are not there it's about making friends with them just saying okay i'm i'm scared I'm scared, why I'm scared, what I'm scared about, okay, this and this can happen. So then you can even add a bit of strategy. Okay, so if this will happen, I will do this, 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 and, and also I will learn something, I will progress. So I can see, okay, there is a risk, but I'm still going for it, I'm still trying, and that's what successful people do. They are scared, but they are still doing it. There is more about fears and doubts, and it's very personal. So if you need help with it, feel free to also comment or reach out to me. And also the best place um, to talk about this is the workshop that I'm hosting in Manchester. Uh, that's also something that I wanted to give out to all of you who are watching. Uh, the workshop is on the 27th of November in Holiday in Manchester Central. So it's not the one in the middle of the city centre, it's a bit um, further away, 10 or 15 minutes away from the city centre. Um, there is a free car park. So you don't need to worry about it. Um, it's on the evening, or oh, it's a Tuesday evening, and I wanted to give you a discount code you can use if you're about to buy a ticket. And um, just make sure you remember about this discount code. It's worthy you uh, without any space. Just worthy you, and and you can use it. You can get yourself twenty five percent less. Tickets are very cheap for how amazing experience it is. Um, so don't worry about that at all. And I hope to see you all there. I hope to see you all because we will be touching a lot on goal setting. Uh, on the end of the workshop, you will experience a bit of group coaching. You won't need to share your thoughts. Um, but you will have the workbook to write your answers and you will come out really with uh, massive breakthroughs and with amazing action plan about what to do and how to achieve those meaningful goals for you just so you feel like you matter, like your life is more fulfilling, like you're doing something that is meaningful to you and that you're doing more of what you love. And another amazing thing is that 
ten percent from the sale uh, goes into the charity who help um, autistic children. Seashore Trust in um, Chido, amazing place. So uh, I hope to see you all there. Remember, if anything wasn't clear, um, ask the question. Um, you can feel free to comment with your goal. Um, and let me know if you're struggling to break it down, if you're struggling to follow through or organize the time, prioritize, whatever it is, um, feel free to, to use it. And thank you for watching. Uh, and see you soon. Bye.